Yo, that's crazy. How do y'all let this happen? Yo, it... Yo, whoa! How long have y'all been there? Hold on, hold on, hold on. See, as y'all see, I am not prepared at all. We have a super seducer today. Well, um, as you see, I'm not looking the best right now. I was, you know, just not, I was not reading. No, I, I wasn't reading. Um, I'm super seducer. Um, what were we, chapter four? Uh, yeah. I don't think we're going to do good in this one because I, I, I let's just see what we got. Hey, yo, even I'm, you know, I'm looking a mess right now, y'all know who it is, Sean is in the building, and let me just tell y'all something, alright, here we go, yo, hey, actually, nope, I ain't got no bars today, like, we are not prepared at all, as you can see, I'm in my pajamas, I got glasses on, I, I'm not prepared to know rapping. I ain't got no bars today. I know y'all was looking for that, but I, I just don't have it today. It's not that kind of day. Chapter 4. Girl sitting in a coffee shop. This is, I guess, perfect for the state we're in right now because this is kind of, not, not that like this is boring, but like this is not the usual up hype stuff we've been getting so far. So, yeah, we're, this is... This might be a one where we don't do so good at. I don't have experience with this one at all. So, we're just going to try our luck. Do I have any luck? Not really. What am I talking about? I have all the luck. Let's do this. Like, I was saying before, this isn't the type of place to be getting girls at a coffee shop. I don't even, I don't even like coffee. So, this is not, this is not the scene where you want to be doing this type of stuff that's just me but I guess you could do it anywhere all right ask if someone is using that chair then sit with her cheeky ask your opinion of what to get for present free female no we used that one in the last one we're not doing that tell her you read that book and that he dies at the end <laughs> yo that's kind of well she think that's funny though stay standing and ask what she is reading that's kind of weird if you're standing Accuse her of pretending to read when she's really hunting for men. Listen, deep down, we never know what she could be thinking or wanting to do. She could be doing that. Listen, I, I, I don't know if she's that type to go like that to think that's funny. We're gonna we're gonna try it. Look at his face. Hey. Hi. What you got there? A book. Obviously, it's a book, the, like... Show me the cover. Ah, oh, that one. Have you read it? He dies in the end. Yeah, <laughs> he does. Sorry, Wait! Spoiler. I've actually read it before. She you knows that? Do you like it that much? You're reading it again? Well, I read it in, when I was a lot younger, and I don't know if I understood it, so I... Wait! thought I should reread it. Oh. So, wait, yeah. she never... My name's Richard. Brenna. Nice to meet you. I mean, nice meet you. I, I, I guess that's a good way to introduce yourself. This is that was right? Opener. Again, it can work if you deliver it correctly. Well, um, I mean, I get that if you deliver it correctly. I didn't think it would work. So I thought, it's, it's it's got I thought she would like that, but she success. read it already. So that's probably why. All right. All right. We're not doing so bad to start off. Okay. Find out about her. Say that her hair is kind of nice and transition to invite. No, that's too early. Use the books as a way to show off. She doesn't look like she likes show offs. Ask whether she comes here often. Mm, it's either D or A. I don't feel like picking wrong answers for this because this one's weird. So we're going to try to do the good thing right here. Find out about her. Ask whether she comes here often. We're going to find out about her. And you normally read uh, philosophy? Uh, no. I mean, I think, well, in every book there's a little philosophy. I'm not a huge Kafka fan. I was just in Prague recently. He's from Czech Republic. Okay, yeah, I see. I'm, look at that girl in the back. You're not slick, we see you. Well, if you go, they'll, they'll talk about Kafka. So. Nice. And what else do you like to read? Do you like I generally read fiction, non-fiction? 
fiction and like 20th century American really? lit. Okay. You just like, like history like, like that? <laughs> mm, like Salinger or maybe... Are, I just recently read a novella called A Day No Pigs Would Die. A um, Day No Pigs, pigs Would Die? die. Yeah. That's like whenever... Okay, I I, like, I'm sorry. I'm so it. awkward right now well, because I don't... I won't spoil it, but... You're I, I, I don't really understand track. this right now. Oh, yeah? nice I don't understand yeah, this you read? conversation um, because I, read I don't read books. So, I like, um, <laughs> this is out of my comfort zone. Biography, psychology, um, philosophy. He reads too, everything you just said. Like, Old English classics and Russian classics. Russian classics, yeah. such as. Mm. Oh, she's interested. She wants to know. You like Tolstoy? Yeah, I think he's. Oh, right. she wants to know Obviously everything. The translation maybe is different, but. Um, yeah. It's still very cool. I don't know if she's very interested in us yet. Like, we're having a conversation, but it still seems yeah. like she I'm might be. Nice one. Mm -hmm. A little That's bit like. Uh, why are you still talking to me? Yeah, I, I guess so we do. Look, she's looking down at that book. That was Correct. right? It's okay. It's important to okay. always focus the conversation I'm, I'm kinda, like, on the girl as much as possible because then it's just going to be more interesting for her. All right. So how are you able to be free in the middle of the morning on a Thursday? Um, That's the same as for you. Kind of the you are free. I mean, you're here. So anywhere. same as but, you. I should ask um, you that question. It's like internet stuff and with America. So in Europe... I need to wait until they wake up and whatever. So right. I'm, I'm kind of free. I, I'm like yeah. invested in this. Like I really want to know what the hell we're talking about. I'm, <laughs> I'm not talking very much. <laughs> that's nice. So that's cool. And how about She's you? looking how down at the book. Not at work. You know? Well, I have. I'm a. I work at the university, so I have kind of an unusual. You work schedule. at the inner. I have some. Are you a I'm teacher? And I work in the evenings. That would explain mm -hmm. why she's freaking yeah. into literature so much. Guess that she takes his sex ed. <laughs> Say you didn't go to the university and that it's a waste of time. Find out whether she loves her job or is just doing it for money. <sighs> okay, I'm get, I'm kind of getting back into what I should be. I'm getting back into that. But do I want? <laughs> I do I want to try that? It's a wrong answer, definitely, but. I don't know how she'll go about it. She might. I might get slapped. I don't know. We gonna try it. Hmm. So what do you teach in the university? Let me go. So, blonde hair. The, the blonde oh, hair careful. means sexy. No, no, no. Oh, she said, so careful what you say, it's punk. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm gonna say you teach uh, like sex ed, something like that. Oh. Sh not close. Not even at all. Oh, come on. Look, look at you. You're not teaching. You know, ancient but she actually or something, are you? Just all like this sexy. And but whatever. she probably is. So you're suggesting I'm dumb? No, I don't think that's I'm what he was saying. Teach sex is very valuable for children these days. You know, safe sex, not having sex, or whatever you teach. Now, what do you teach in sex? She doesn't oh, teach I, that. I am. Um, not that you, you can teach should. me anything. Oh, okay. But I could, maybe Would I you? Could will you? Have some just ideas. leave. Okay. Oh, dang, we offended yes. her. This is very uncomfortable. We, we offended her. Well, look, when it comes to sex, not to... You know, all right, all right. See, now he's going too far to it. She already mm -hmm. wants him to leave. I do know quite a lot. Oh. Very experienced. I don't think she all wants right. to find that out, though. Sure you are. Years and years. <laughs> I don't she think, think she believes this anyway. Okay. Lots of experience. So maybe we could meet and i give you some of my ideas. Or no, she ain't. Show you. No. 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 Just, just leave. Like, she's trying to be nice about it, and you're still going on about it. Like, even I'm being a, no, getting annoyed at this no. point. Exactly. No, like, no. No, like, you should leave right. Not this is, this is, food, like Michael Jackson. no, like, I'm thinking about calling the police. The police? Okay. okay well, we ain't got to go that far. Listen. It's lovely meeting you. I do have to go, and actually, I've, I've got another, <laughs> another girl to meet. I was Great. only being friendly. I oh, yeah, my gosh. I'm sure she's. A treat. She's, she's wonderful. This guy. Anyway, but, um, I mean, I... The university. I'll pop into the, the sex class. Why he's still no, talking I about that it. sex class? Yo. Okay, so the real life lesson here is not to take things too sexual too quickly. I just wanted uh, to see. Listen, really, I know this really, already. It really, really, really works. If it does work, I don't think it ever she's works. drunk in a bar. Definitely not in the daytime when she's reading Kafka. That doesn't ever work. All right. This is what I really wanted to pick. 
So you teach at the university. That's interesting. Yeah. And tell me, do you actually like what you do, or you do it just for money? She no, likes it. I really it. do like what I, I do. I can tell she right. likes it. Mm -hmm. Just from all that we just did, she likes it. Yeah. Talking about the history and all that. I feel she, like what I do is important. She put that. She put that book down. Did y'all see that shit? She put the book down. That means she's invested. We about to get up I in that ass. Uh, my teachers from primary school mm -hmm. and uh, in secondary school. I don't know if you're the same, but did you like the subjects most, where the teachers were good? Mm -hmm. And then later, maybe you weren't even interested in that subject. So mm -hmm. a good teacher can Yo. just change the whole course of someone's life. We really got Absolutely. her. And like looking we back, got her on the hook. Years of school are your favorite. It's like, well, whatever you had the good teachers because. Are you a good teacher? Kind of irrelevant. And you're a good teacher. They like I you. I think so. I hope. <laughs> so. I mean, yeah, I you would think so. No, I like it to be honest because it's it's very rare. You know, most people just do their jobs for money and mm -hmm. then they come and moan about it. Some. It. So he ain't lying like though. Who actually enjoys what they do and is making a difference. Oh, she liked that shit. This is a nice thing that you can ask anyone. So she liked well, that shit. In this is the right option. And it can always lead to an interesting conversation. Whether she's into a job, she can tell you why. Or she's not, and she can tell you something else that she's passionate about. Oh, no, she, she liked that shit. I and can what's tell. What's the subject? What do you teach? American culture. I knew oh, it. What, what does that she's all into that history. So kind of a lot. It's out of my element, like things. I say again. For example, we kind of started with an overview of American values, which was really interesting. Like um, freedom and stuff, yeah? Things like that, and even things more of so, that nature. For example, an interesting one is how Americans relate to the future. Like it's something we feel like we can control in some sense, and like Back no. to the Future, the movie. Mm, I don't see how. I don't know. What I she don't means. think she. Okay. No, that's not um, what she meant. Americans think that they de they control their own destiny. Yeah. Kind of, right? Okay. Well, now she understands it. Now she understands it. All right. <laughs> Ask what exactly that is, suggest it's about inventing donuts and burgers, challenge her to explain why this is important, make her feel good about the job. I feel like she wants to talk about this stuff. So we're going to challenge her to explain why this is important. Wait, American culture, isn't that kind of a contradiction in terms? Like, what are you teaching? Like, here we invented the hamburger in 1940 or something like that. Well, there really isn't a question of whether or not we have culture. We certainly do. You can look back through history, and yes, maybe ours. Look, see, long look. Now she got the arm movements. Yeah, she is. I say, I. Culture doesn't exist. Listen, we out of our the element, but we can still find Eastern a way to get into really it. No influence, even in Eastern Europe, let's say. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm sure there's some stuff, but wouldn't it be better that they learn something else because like if you're going to teach about america teach business or technology because what what's culture like what tell me oh she's going to tell you example, artists are authors it's, it doesn't even matter who the artists and authors are what's important is that we have our own again y'all realize world, again she put the book down for good with us so if you're a business so person, she's invested in this conversation in person, and that's exactly we how we get into her what their daily life looks get into like her if you know what i mean perceive the environment don't use okay. that Cool. So it's mm -hmm. like when you're learning about business in China and you have to, you know, give your business card with two hands. Quite literally, yes. All of that this stuff. is the mm -hmm. same thing. Got it. Okay. So it's not really teaching about Like, I'm actually... No. Okay, I, I'm, nice. I'm liking what well, she has to say right now. Because that's yeah. the American culture. Like, it's like I'm listening in school again. What leads the world, right? We yeah. kind of follow. If you right can answer. challenge someone, Get them to prove you can tell who you. wants to be and challenged. Approve of them, validate them. It has a powerful psychological effect. So See, it's the right I don't know much about that psychological stuff, but I really a little enjoy bit. my job. But there is this one little thing that's very frustrating for me. Don't I have this problem. You fucking dog. I can't print you fucking the dog. That I need. Don't you dare. My students all have their own copy to take home. Oh my gosh. Go printer, like, he was really looking at that ass. Expensive. So what do you think I should do? Think you should do? Fuck! You see, you always want to be honest, but for her, I don't think you. Oh my gosh! Say it must be annoying, and tell her to ask for a bigger printing allowance. Be gentle and vague, cause you didn't listen. Tell her if she has a colleague she doesn't like, she can ignore them. Be honest and say you were distracted by a girl. You don't want to tell her that, even though it's honest. 
You don't want to tell her that, because then she's going to feel like, oh, so you're not even paying attention to me. Shit! Fuck! All right. All right, we got to be very careful about what we pick here. Be general and vague, because you get... I, I want to say that, because I don't want to tell her that we were distracted by a girl. I don't. Fuck, but general and vague, she doesn't want to hear that. Fuck. Alright, come on, 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 come on. Alright, think, 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 think. B, C or D. I don't think the, the, the top ones. Fuck. We're, we're gonna go with general. Um. Well, when you have a problem I don't, like this, I don't know if this is good, though. To, uh, that's it. You should talk to your boss about the problem. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever it is. Yeah. Not important, but you know, talk to them in a way that shows that you're on their side, okay, and that you want the best uh, for the that... department, and it should be okay. Okay, that's pretty good advice. That's good advice. Oops, looks like you got a little bit distracted there, but you know, I understand why it happened. There was this a, guy. A girl going by. <laughs> this Into guy. Something, and what else is? Yo, he's yo, he's thing. really a dog. I really love dogs and I love to travel. Every girl loves oh, dogs. Yeah. I've noticed that. Do you travel a lot? I'm about I to get a dog. Shit. The last couple years especially. Nice. And where are some places you've been? She must have been in like uh, Europe or something. In Europe? I've been in Bruh. Prague. Did I not call Russia, that shit? Ukraine. She like. She looks like she Ukraine, likes the freaking Lithuania. She likes American Latvia. history so she likes so all of other countries and stuff. I, I called it. See? Yes. Look. I, nice. I really do this. And tell me, what's the no matter if I'm off my game or not. Like, it's people who have never traveled anywhere say, where's the best place that I should see? Where is it? I would actually say it, that you should go to the United States and go see the Grand Canyon. It's you know, I actually amazing. did want to see the Grand Canyon before. I can't do it justice with words, but it's wonderful. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I actually want to go there. Tell her about your experiences in the Grand Canyon. Say you've never been but would like to go. Say that it's boring there and they don't even have Wi-Fi. Get her to elaborate what she, what she particularly liked. Tell her your favorite trip was to Thailand and the details of the sexual experience. <laughs> no, no, no. So I'm thinking either it's A, B, or D. Get her to elaborate on what she particularly liked. See, I want to do that one because that's still challenging her. And it seems like she's good about, she likes talking about this type of shit. Tell her about your, I'm going to get her to elaborate. I see I went there as well and it was very beautiful, but tell me what, what did you really like about it? Well, I, I suppose the fact that it is beautiful and I think I was there I'm telling the you, she look, she likes really talking. Impactful. So, so I was the right age, I, I, I was the right time, and so it was meaningful to me. Mm -hmm. she, I, I'm excited to return. I think next summer I'll go back. Oh yeah, very cool. I'd like to go back as well. So yeah. if I'm in America mm -hmm. and I'm nearby, and we meet up. Canyon, which I guess nothing's nearby. But if I also want to go, you're in Phoenix. Yeah, yeah Phoenix, Arizona. Mm -hmm. Then um, yeah, we could we could go. Okay. Be nice. Oh, I didn't think she would actually would. That was the right answer exactly too. Right. I tell Find you, I know you this. Talk about something passionately. You want to give them a chance to do that, not cut them off. Talk about yourself. Ask yeah, your exactly. Questions. Just give them a chance to open up. This is the perfect subject to connect with. I am the greatest. I am the legend. Oh, should I say that? No. Oh. Say what? I've run out of things to say. Uh oh. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, I thought she was about to pick up that book. I was about to like, don't even dare. Don't you dare pick up that damn book. Crap. All right. Hold eye contact and wait for her to speak. Break eye contact, look around the venue while you think of what to say. Say you hate awkward silences. Well, I hate this shit too because I, when I run out of things to say, it's awkward because it's like you feel like you have to say some shit or it'll just feel like you're not doing enough. I have very much experience with that. So, all right. Mm. Let me think about this. Hold eye con I don't think I want to hold eye contact with her like that. That might be weird. Break eye contact. Look around the venue. I don't want to say you hate awkward silences, but break eye contact. Look around the venue while you think of what to say. Um, 
I'm gonna do that because. Um, ah, you've got you've got a necklace. On like it. we gotta think of what to say. Is it a present or yeah. You it? it was a gift. Does it have a special memory? This no, might not be. Really. Okay. Oh. Well, okay. Was that the right? Okay. Wrong choice. Now this is actually what ninety-five percent of okay, guys well, do. Okay. I didn't know that um, one. But Shit. In this case, I'm off today. Kind of. My bad. Some things you like to do for fun. This is not my element. As long as I can remember, I've always loved playing volleyball. So that's ah, something okay. I try to do whenever I can. Nice. I mm -hmm. played it at school. They had yep. it in my school, but since then I didn't. But they play. I go to Barcelona a lot, and they play on the beach. Mm -hmm. Do you play beach volleyball? I will. Yeah. You oh, will. Nice. Are you very I good? will beat yeah. your ass. You can do that where you jump and whoosh, smash sure. it down. Cool. Yeah. That's nice. She's lying. I'm on the beach because the nets are higher. She's lying. Yeah. She's Very not cool. doing that. Yeah, cool She's not even that tall to do that. Yeah, I probably the thing I do the most is study Russian. She likes oh. studying. I can already see what the right answer is, but I might as well read the other ones. Tell her it's stupid and that Putin is evil and Russians are just vodka drinking idiots. That's fucked up. Tell her you failed miserably with languages at school. Compliment her on choosing a tough language to learn. Show off by telling her all the languages you speak. Again, you know what? We're not gonna. We're not going into us. We're gonna compliment her. Anytime you get to compliment Russian. her, we're going to do yeah. it. Yeah, you know, I meet loads of people that speak what French, English, obviously Spanish, German, mm -hmm. but Russian. It's really rare to, to meet someone who speaks Russian. It's yeah. Pretty cool. How come you chose that? I don't really have a good reason. When I was in high school, I did a. I had the opportunity to do a study abroad, and I, my choice. I, I can't tell France whether she likes this right now Russia, or not, but and I didn't want to go to France, so I went to Russia, and then I just never quit. Mm -hmm. I actually like that you chose something tough mm -hmm. and that you stuck with it. Mm -hmm. And any time you, know, you like get to do that, we'll take the easy options. All the this time, guy, so it's interesting the way he says way stuff. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice that was one. The right you know, when a girl has something that is a real talent, something that she should be proud of, something she's worked hard on, that's the kind of thing you don't want to tease her too much on. So I mean, you know, it depends well on the kind of girl so too. Like that and say why, and then go deeper into it because you know you need to find out why she her. would do that, why she was interested, what would make her spend the time on it, and it's going to lead to interesting conversation, make her feel good as well. I noticed nice you have an way. accent. Do you mind if I ask where you're from? Bam! England, actually. I yeah. love when she. Um, I was waiting for her to ask London. a question actually, about you us. Know what? When I was, when I was young, I, I lived in South London, and they have a strong accent there. It's like South. South. I wish London, I had an accent. Like, like this, but, girls um, love accents because, because it's a lot and I moved, I foreign. Most of my accent, you know? Do I still sound British? To you? Yes, very much. That's good. I mean, I. I you like my British accent, don't you? You like that shit? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we can't. <laughs> Hold on. Talk about how girls go crazy about your breath. No, no. Uh, foreigners receive English people and ask about. I'm gonna say that one because the other ones. You like the English accent? Yeah. Yeah, most people like it. They say it's Funny. kind of sexy. But maybe that's just when I speak it. But <laughs> <laughs> this guy. It's quite interesting actually being English because in some places. But she laughed like at America, that, so that wasn't that wasn't wrong. Mm -hmm. And then some places like Spain, where all the English people go and kind of party and like the hooligans go drinking. And the stuff, hooligans. And the reputation's mm. quite quite bad. But okay, how do you find that. it being an American and traveling? Uh, it depends on where you're at, but I guess generally. People have kind of negative stereotypes about the United States and Americans, but yeah, no, you're. Know. She's right. It she's right. A lot of people are willing to take you and judge you individually and not. That's good. They, right? That's what they do. Oh, yeah. We're lucky. Yeah? We don't have any real uh, racism or anything really bad. Let me move to freaking England. England. Yeah. Fuck. Let yeah. me do that. This is the right choice, and it's always interesting to talk about cultural differences, so it can lead to some nice conversation. Say you like her and want to see her again, ask for a number. Ask what she likes to do in her free time. Say you think it she... Oh! Want to take one her date. It's not that time yet. It's not that time for any of these yet. It's not that time for any what of these like yet. What do you do in, I don't know, for fun, like in the evening? Because you study Russian and whatever, but do you drink, dance, anything else? All of the above, yeah. She does ev all of those? That's when a. The strikes, yeah. When the. Oh, yeah, when, oh, 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 
When the moon strikes? Oh. Uh, hookah. Yeah. Hookah. She smokes hookah? Yeah, I have from time to time. I'm not a, a huge fan, but... She I quite like She does it. not look like she does anything it's like that. She looks like she's one of them... But you don't cough after it. Nice girls like that don't do any of that. Yeah. So we need to do it sometime. Like, shisha... Oh my. Hookah. Um... I haven't been paying attention. And then dancing. Oh, maybe. What? When you want to transition to seeing someone again, it's very good to she build up a picture of the kind of things hookah. that they do, the way they spend their time. Because she looks like she's one of them nice girls that you don't that drink, you share smoke, some do none of that. Or that you do Are you kidding me? To do, she does Bro! That you'd like to try, and then it makes it very easy to then go on and suggest the date from there and take the number. I knew that. I'm still do you have any other outdoor, I'm still like, like stuff you like to do? It's yeah. Volleyball, but anything else? Yeah, I grew up in in the country, so I really enjoy a lot of nature activities. I oh, like we, hiking and I love fishing. Oh, we can go fishing. Fishing, fishing yeah. A girl fish. who likes fishing. It happens. You don't, yeah. you don't have much girls that like to do That's that. Interesting. I've never never done fishing, but I love the outside as well. You mm -hmm. know, walking in uh, parks or yeah, mm -hmm. hiking if you've got somewhere like that. How about bicycle? Bi she likes bicycle. I, like I knew it. Yeah. She's that Why type of girl. Do, I knew it. Know, like take some bicycles, ride out somewhere. Yeah. That would be nice. Cool. Oh, it'd be nice. Touch her face. <laughs> Ask her plans for the coming week. Ask what kind of men she likes. Run the cute routine. A psychological test. I wouldn't touch her face. She ain't. No, we ain't got there yet. Plans for the coming week. And are you busy this week? Or what are your plans for the next few days? I'm pretty busy. I have a, a my friend is having a party tomorrow, and then this weekend well, damn. I'm gonna take a well, trip damn. to. We can't meet up with her anytime mm -hmm. soon, then. Mm -hmm. So, pretty busy. You have maybe, free time, though. Maybe. Which maybe day? on Sunday. Sunday, yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Maybe she's I just might saying. Be free on Sunday as well. Okay. You know, damn well he's free on Sunday. He ain't got That's shit exactly else to right. do. Now think about this. Have you ever texted a girl saying, "Hey, can you meet tomorrow?" She's like, "I'm not in town." And say, "Okay," and then text her in a few days. Hey, can you meet tonight? Are you around? Sorry, I've already got plans. Well, got to avoid this kind of dumb situation you make when it you in end advance. up not seeing her again, why not find out at the time of meeting her what her plans are for the coming week? It's very easy to find out in person and saves the need for sending loads of dumb text messages that get you rejected. So it's the correct choice. Damn right. Suggest meeting for a drink and take her number. Suggest hiking together and take her number. Say you have a few for a minute and find her make love. Take her number and say you'll be in touch. It's one of these. It's one of those. Oh my gosh. It's one of those. She does say she like drinking. Hiking, she also said. Let me try this one. Let me try this so listen, one. We should meet one day, go for drinks. What do you think? Yeah, okay. Okay, so it's oh, she, fine. Okay, Come okay. I, I thought that wasn't gonna work. She does. She does. She don't tell me she's gonna put in a fake number. Don't don't put in a fake number. Not the best way to go for a date because it's very general and you've had a lot of conversation. Ah, uh, you know what? I should have picked the hiking one. That's what he's telling you could me. Do together that would be more interesting. So to go to the old traditional date is not the best option, but not that bad. So ah, I, you know what? Girls like that shit anyway. Fuck. I have heard that sometimes quite coldly say goodbye and that you'll be in touch. Oh my gosh. I'm going to go for that one because I, I didn't even okay, read that so one. I, I better be going. See ya. Okay, bye. Is she going to... Because then that's going to get in her head. Aha! I knew it! It's exactly the right answer. The reason is that if you're too friendly at the lead and like, okay, see you again soon. It's lovely to meet you. Really enjoyed it. See you, see you. Bye, bye. Like I that. knew it. Then See, it just means psychological. I know some, like something her. about she's, it. She knows you're going to message her, and she's not really thinking about it. If you do the opposite and you're kind of cold, she might think, "Hang on, did I do something wrong there at the end? Does he really like me? Really message me? Does he want to see me?" <laughs> Yo, again? that psychological stuff cool really is something else. About you in the interim uh, between the time where you say bye bye and the time when you message her and get in touch again. That. Okay, this is the first time. We didn't get this a super a seducer again, uh, result, but uh, listen, 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 chill. I was out of my element today. Like that was something I have never like even thought about. 
at a freaking coffee shop trying to get a girl that is not something I ever even thought about doing I don't even like coffee so listen I did enough to get her so you gotta give me some credit there well hopefully by the next episode we will be prepared we will be prepared so hope y'all stay good my friends and again I'm sorry for this awkwardness because listen that was out of my comfort zone so I had to kind of beat it and I did stay safe out there my friends <sighs>